Hey, what's up everybody and thank you for checking out another video and today I'm gonna be doing something a little different. This is not a vlog. My family's not gonna be in this video. This is gonna be a very nerdy video and a very Star Wars-y video. So today I'm gonna be doing something a little different that I've actually never done on this channel. I'm gonna be doing a toy unboxing and review and it's gonna be a Star Wars toy that I'm very, very excited about. That's right, I'm 30 and I still play with toys. Now I have to give a warning, for those of you that just like watching like the vlogs and other things like that and you're not really a fan of Star Wars or toys or Star Wars toys, uh, now's your warning. You can go ahead and click out of this video because it's about to get really, really nerdy. Okay, now that you've been warned, here we go, let's do this. I'm going to be reviewing a Star Wars Black Series, oh wait, there's a glare there. A Star Wars Black Series ATST Imperial Walker and Driver. This thing is awesome. I've been seeing this all over the internet. I've seen it on you know a bunch of Instagram pages and Facebook pages that I follow. And um, I never thought I would find it in stores. And one day I was just in Walmart a few days ago and I saw this and I was like, <gasps> so I ended up buying it and it's taken so much in me to not open this because I want to open it with you guys on camera. So let's go ahead and open this, see what's inside, see what all the hype is about. Here we go. All right, so here it is, the ATST Imperial Walker. So ATST actually stands for All Terrain Scout Transport. ATSTs first made their appearance on Empire Strikes Back in the Battle of Hoth. You saw a little bit of ATST. You really see them a lot in Return of the Jedi. On the Force Moon of Endor, you see ATSTs really, really make an appearance. It was an awesome, awesome scene, the Battle of Endor. And then you actually see them in Rogue One, spoiler alert, there is an ATST in Jedi City, so it's a really, really cool scene. If you haven't seen Rogue One, that's not really spoiling the plot, so don't worry. So anyways, let's open this thing and see what it's like. Here we go. Okay. A little bit of stuff to cut here. All right, I got a little bit of out, a little bit of it out. Just gotta get his little feet here out. There you go. That one. All right, I got a little bit of it. Guy's a little weird. Well, I'll put it like this for now. All right, we got it here. So let's see what we have here. Have to take some of these rubber bands out. Was that supposed to happen? I don't know. Well, I've ended up kind of dismantling this thing, but that's okay. So let's see. This pops in right there. Here we have the ATST. Let's see what kind of range of motion we have. Okay, off the bat, I'm gonna say, this thing is kind of hard to balance. It's like, you kind of have to find a sweet spot for it. The legs click, but it doesn't really stay. The, the, the head has a little bit of movement. Here's the eye flaps. Open those. It looks really, really cool. It's just a little, I thought it was gonna be a little sturdier. So let's see, we have some range of motion right here. I mean, this completely opens up like that. Just like in the movie, not really. But, oh, there we go. Nope, they do not look like that when they're walking. So it needs to be like this. Okay. 
Okay, I think I got it. So, there we go. Okay, so I finally got this thing unboxed and uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks actually really, really cool. I really like it. The one thing I will say, it was, it was very flimsy, you know, so getting it to really kind of like balance and stand up was a little bit of a trick, you know. You had to kind of play with the, the legs a little bit um, because like you just click it a little bit off and it, uh, it just kind of falls over. It's, uh, it, it kind of makes sense why uh, a bunch of Ewoks were able to beat these guys with logs and sticks and stones and stuff. So anyways, um, it does look really, really cool though. As you can see, it has a little bit of like, like rust or d dirt or something on there, um, which makes it seem like the, this uh, ATST is from Endor. This doesn't look like it's from, uh, you know, a snow planet or anything like that but it's really really cool here's the little eye flaps that open up and down for the, uh, the the pilots or the drivers to be able to see through it's really really cool and then we have here at the top a little hatch where your driver can you know kind of pop out of just like in the movie so that's really cool this hatch closes right here and you can actually open it oh no I just broke that There it is. And then you can also open this hatch and inside there is a little bit of stickers, kind of hard to see there, but there's some stickers in there. There's the two seats for the two, uh, you know, drivers. You have a little bit more stickers here. And then obviously you can see out of there. So there's that. It comes with two little uh, chin. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. It comes with two little chin turrets that go on, on, on the bottom here. There's this one, looks like a little machine gun one. And then we have this one that attaches. And this one looks like it has some little missiles. There's a little button right there. And when you press it, let's see. Ready? Boom. Okay, I'll pick those up later. So, looks really cool. And all you do is you just pop it in right. Right there, so there you go. Now that, oh, that that adds weight to the front, so now I have to kind of rework his uh, his balance. So, like I said, the balance on this thing is a little weird. Um, it's like this thing's got vertigo or something. But uh, once you kind of play with it and, and figure it out, um, you're good. Oh, actually, I think this goes like this. All right, so that's how it goes. There we go, I got the, the little gun on there. So, as you can see, it has also a little gun thing right there on that side, something on this side. Here is what the driver looks like. He's got a blaster, full suit, helmet is removable. So, looks pretty cool. Little overalls go down there. Or suspenders, whatever you call them. So, looks pretty cool. That is the driver. Let me, let me put this in here. There we go. Got my guy in there, and now uh, ready to go. Ah, there it goes. It fell again. So, all right. So I just spent several uh, minutes, probably a good half an hour to 45 minutes, messing around with this thing. Here's my review on it. Here's what I think about it. I think it looks awesome when it's sitting like on a on a table, on a, you know, on display, on a shelf, whatever it is. To play with it, it's not very effective. You know, I was actually excited to buy this thing and kind of play with my kid, and because uh, we, you know, we like to play Star Wars. I've been teaching him about the AT-AT, -AT, and now I'm teaching him about the ATST. So I was really excited to be able to play with him with this thing, but. I'm 30 and I was getting frustrated like I was really losing my patience with this thing because I could not get it to stand up and balance and I have a feeling my three-year-old is not going to be patient with this thing so I'm not sure if uh, this is one that we're going to actually be playing with this might actually just sit on a shelf in, uh, in, in one of our rooms one of the kids rooms or something like that um, I will say it looks really really cool once you get it standing up you know it looks really really cool um, I love how it looks I love the, the, the little bit of rust 
slash dust that they put on it. I really like it. I love the flaps. I love just little details on the inside. The articulation of the uh, the the driver. Um, you know, it's a really really cool toy. I think it's awesome. I will say this was sixty dollars at Walmart. They had two left on the shelf. I I, I almost bought two, but uh, I only bought one. I think it's a little overpriced. I do think it's overpriced uh, for 60 bucks. You know, a toy that you can't really play with much. Um, I think if they would have sold this for like 40 or something like that, it probably would have been cooler. I know there's a Lego version that I think is like 40 or, or 50 bucks. So uh, I do like this. I probably will not be playing with it, and I honestly probably will not recommend this. If you're looking to to, to buy this, you know, to play with this. It's really kind of frustrating. It, it really, this, this, I haven't had a toy frustrate me in a while um, since this thing. But this thing is gonna look really awesome if you have it on display in a case, if you have it in your office, in your prop room, whatever it is. ATST by Hasbro Black Series. There's my review. So anyways, I hope you guys like this review of the ATST. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, maybe about something that I did not mention in the video, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to answer it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe I will do some more toy reviews in the future. If you want, you can check out some of my vlogs right here by clicking on this box or you can subscribe to my channel for more videos right here. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.